All right, here is another cool car sitting in this wrecking yard. 67 SS Marina Blue 12 bolt rear end Chevelle. Man, this thing was, I know they made, you know, quite a few of these, but it's still awesome. You know, you just, you just don't see these. I mean, and look at, see rust? No, no, I, I don't either. I don't see any rust, no. Solid. So, let's flip this camera around and take a better look. Yep. 67 12 volt rear end SS Chevelle. Man, this thing got hit hard. Must have got hit in the front end and then it spun around and tagged a pole. Yep, SS 396. Awesome. I mean, the entire trunk is still in this car. Well, it's had some previous bodywork to it before. You can see the little uh, Bondo titties sticking through the uh, sheet metal there. Man, look how it crushed that wheel well. The, uh, my dad had a 67 Chevelle. Actually, we still have it. The, uh, when my dad passed away, I told my sister she could have the Chevelle because she's got kids. So we've got one of these, but it's just a 283 Power Glide car. It's not the big dog SS car. It's like someone's already robbed the uh, SS emblem or the uh, emblem off the dash. Four speed SS Chevelle. Yeah, buddy. So let's just get even better. SS 396 four speed car. Is that glass? Oh man, I the uh, And it still has the freaking buckets and the back seats in it. I mean, I'm a Mopar guy, but I'm also a muscle car guy. I like seeing all muscle cars. You know, I'm I'm not brand loyal. I mean, Mopar is my absolute favorite, but I respect all muscle cars to an extent. There are some shitty ones, but ouch. Yep, it got smooshed in the front. Still has the body tag on it. Yep. You know, is this car worth fixing? I don't know. I, I'm i not real hip on the values on the Chevelles, but it's sad to see it like this. Ooh, what's that? I see a bumper over there with an SS emblem on it. Let's just go over here and see what that might have gone to. 70 SS Chevelle. Where is it at? Aha. Uh -huh. Right there. So we'll go over there in a split second. Let's just get another look at this guy here. Super Sport. 396 turbo jet man this car is cool I mean I would own one of these <sighs> well let's follow this a uh, 70 SS Chevelle over here see the bumper to it yep all right no, I don't go to this car because that one's already got a bumper on it. Oh, that one's got an SS bumper on it too. So we got another SS car. Oh, there's the trunklet. So we got brown, black SS stripes. Oh, look at that. Still has the SS steering wheel in it. Four speed, another four speed car. Four speed SS Chevelle. 1970 SS four speed Chevelle car. Yeah, this wrecking yard doesn't suck, does it? Why would they cut the dash apart like that? Well, and they cut the whole side of the car off. <sighs> Another sad thing to see. AM radio car. I'm, I'm not real hip to the GM options. So, you'll have to bear with me. But... I do like these cars. I just know my Mopars. 
I see disc brakes, so disc brake, big block four speed car. Brown, black stripes. Another freaking, anyway, it's actually really solid. It's just all the paint's burnt off of it. I mean, look at the wheel wells. Yeah, look at, <laughs> look at the uh, wheelhouses. Solid, frame rail, solid. Ooh, we still have 12 volt in it, oh. 12 volt rear end, still. Freaking cool car. So, two of my favorites. I mean, yeah, most of my favorites are Mopars. Hey, yeah. Okay, so most of my fa Mopars are favorite. Uh, the, the most of my favorite cars are Mopars, but I do have a lot of other manufactured cars that I like. And 67 SS Chevelle, 70 SS Chevelle are in that group. I didn't really come over here too much though. I mostly stick to all my Mopar area. And then came over here to look at these. And that's when we came across that 71 RT Charger. Which I'm going to go back to that. 